what is up it's your boy Kate Sif wins back with my next legendary video for Borderlands 3 this time I'm going to be doing the legendary shotgun known as the fearmonger this is a legendary Hyperion shotgun that you can get during this bloody harvest DLC I finally was able to get one I just didn't have the greatest RNG in terms of drops but basically this is a legendary shotgun that drops from either Captain Haunt himself or one of the um, loot skulls it could either be a legendary loot skull or it could be from any loot skull if you get lucky enough to get it but basically the red lettering says i can't control their fear only my own which is a direct reference from a marvel movie captain america civil war which is a quote said by scarlet witch herself so anytime you get a cool comic reference or comic book movie reference that's always a cool thing for me but the most important thing is is it good enough for you to take time out of your schedule to farm it and well we're gonna find out right here right now i don't think it's great like it's going to be in your top lineup but it's not bad it's kind of in the middle maybe it's an upper upper echelon but basically when you fire it it fires out four projectiles and also another cool thing about this shotgun is it can come in many different elements um and come in all of them from what i know i the only one i got right now is the electricity one but you can come in fire cryo radiation corrosion etc etc but Basically, it fires at four projectiles, and it takes about a second or two to detonate. And once it detonates, it starts to do its damage. And it's not bad, you know, especially if you got, like, enemies that have shields on. But as it, this is only because I have the electricity version. If you have, like, fire for, you know, flesh enemies and corrosion for armor enemies. But nonetheless, it is very good. does decent damage. The biggest drawback for me personally would just be the, um, I guess the projectile speed just because of how it fires and you need those um, things to hit it now if you do happen to get um, terror on your weapon on um, terror radius for a terror stack you get you um you add a projectile to your thing i think you go up to seven projectiles but obviously when you have so much terror you're sometimes hard to control the gun you know just bounce all over so it's a little hard to hit anybody but when you do hit it can do solid decent damage and I don't know it's going to be a top tier you know thing but it is not bad at all you can definitely use it if you can get other elements or whatnot and definitely as you'll see in a few seconds here when i fight a um, big shield enemy you can definitely use it to fight enemies such as like captain haunt or tron for that matter or maybe the um any other like big shielded bosses for my version as it is but I don't have a fire one, so I can't test it on the Grave Ward. Poor Grave Ward. He gets abused by everybody, but here in Captain Haunt. And also another thing to quote is this. It also depends on the modifiers. Like, if the modifiers screw you over, then you're, it's going to be hard to do anything. Um, I think it had pretty decent modifiers, but you can cut through his shield pretty good, and it does decent damage against his health, so it's not bad. But the biggest thing, right, as you can see, is just having those projectiles hit them you know because if they keep missing or the enemy keeps flying around like he's a big target so it's kind of hard to miss them a lot of times but when you have uh enemies that are all over the place i wouldn't probably use it for smaller enemies that move everywhere but for a big enemy um as said ironically captain haunt or tron um you know, you'd have a lot better chance to um go up against them and beat them another thing i guess you can say is just that for what, for the reasons why we try to use this gun to get the most out of it, you definitely will burn through your ammunition very quick. So, I don't know. It's it's hard to say if it's it's in the middle, but I guess it'll be upper middle in terms of like how you use it. And then again, it depends on the character, the class, and maybe you get more benefits from other characters. But for me personally, you could definitely use it. You can have fun with it. It could be good. And as in mine is like in a, a terror version of it where I believe it heals my health. But as I said, it depends on which version you get. Because um, a lot of times, unlike in this video you're seeing here, I run a 1 HP build. So it doesn't always benefit me with the health return after my action skill is over. But just from a base weapon itself, it's not bad. But I don't know if I would take it over, you know, like the conference call or the butcher up there right now but i definitely think it's worth taking time out of your schedule go get it and um 
And as I said, once this event is over, it's over. There's no other way to get it. Because I believe I've gotten almost every... I'm not going to lie. I almost felt like died there falling off. But um, um, I think I almost got every legendary um, from this play harvest just had a little tough time getting playing to it last few days but ever since they did raise and they did raise the drop rates for things in this play harvest so should be a little bit easier to get things i've heard a lot of people still haven't gotten it because i said i hadn't got this fear monger in for for a while just haven't been lucky and the rng just hasn't been good to me but as you can see here like when you get all that terror your gun just bounce all over the place it's hard to hit everything and this is where it can be a little frustrating, but if you can hit your targets, you can definitely do some solid damage. And against shielded enemies and bosses with the electricity version, I would assume it'd be the same for you know the fire or corrosion. But I definitely can melt some people. It's just I wouldn't probably use it for a big, a bunch of enemies at one time. Maybe not that you can't, but just not what it's for. I guess for that one specific enemy, yeah, it's nice to have the little shield to block stuff too. But Overall, I think it is worth getting. It can be a solid, decent thing. I only have one version. Hopefully, I can try it out, get other elements of it, and try it out on other enemies. I think the only legend I don't got from this thing is the um, the ghost grenade, and I've heard that's pretty solid or decent. So, hopefully, I can get that next time I farm these guys. I think I get the this scream shield i believe from this drop but nonetheless that's going to be the end of this fear monger let me know what you guys think have you had different versions of fear monger do you like using it or you're on the edge um i think it's worth a try but if you did enjoy the video don't forget to hit the subscribe like and comment let me know guys what you think and hopefully i can see you on the next borderlands 3 legendary video thanks for watching and peace